Hi there and welcome to another Blender tutorial. We are today looking at another example of the physics tools within Blender. Okay, so here goes. The physics tools we're looking at today, the simulation is going to be smoke. Yes, we're going to be adding smoke to our scene. To do that, I need a couple of very important things first. I need a big cube. I'm going to go S, yes, I'm going to scale this cube up. The reason why I need a big cube is because I need something to contain my smoke. Okay, now I'm going to put something inside the cube which makes it really difficult to see in. So I'm going to press the Z key on my keyboard to make my um, my cube turn to wireframe. See down there, it's gone to wireframe, non-wireframe, ching, wireframe. So now I can see through it, still there, but see through. Okay, shift A. I'm going to add a plane, and that's basically all I need to make my smoke. Okay, oh, look at that. One thing you've got to watch out for is your plane needs to be inside the cube. That little plane is going to be the smoke maker. The box is going to be the smoke holder. Now the fancy names for those are, okay, box, smoke, domain. So I've clicked the add domain for the big box. And I'm going to go smoke, add, flow. So smoke is going to flow out of this little emitter. Very important thing. See the particle system box in here, how it's empty? We can't leave it like that. We have to make this e smoke flow device thing make some particles. Okay, see my previous tutorial about how to make particles and do stuff with them. Click the particles button. Click the plus button to actually make a particle system. Now it gives it an automatic name of particle system. That's all good. Emission. I'm going to leave most of these settings exactly the same as they are right now. But I'm going to go further down. And where it says velocity, I'm changing the velocity to zero. So I clicked in the box, made it zero. That means when my particles come out, they don't go anywhere. Have a look at this though. They are going somewhere. They're falling down due to gravity. That's a bad thing. Before I forget, I'm going to go through and turn off gravity. See the scene button right up here? We're going to go down where it says gravity, I'm going to turn it off. So in theory, if I press Alt A again, my particles sit in one spot and they don't move around. That's exactly what I want. Back to the particles. Now, zip on down to where it says render. See the tick in the emitter box? I'm going to undo that. That way I won't see an ugly little square sitting in the bottom of my smoke. Okay. See where it says halo? Change it to none. So I don't have little sparks coming off. My, uh, my little particles will look like nothing. You may be thinking, but oh, I want my particles to look like smoke. Yes, well we'll get back to that soon. Right, now that our particles are all set up, zip back to the bouncing ball, the physics tab, and see in the particle system down here, we are now going to change it to particle system, the automatic name for the smoke that we made before. Right, these other things like temperature diff, if I increase that, my smoke moves faster. So there's some other cool things you can play in with there later. Right, click on the domain again. We need to make a smoke colour. And you can probably guess already, yes, it's under materials. Now you may be thinking, hey, wait a minute, shouldn't it be like the smoke particles? No, this box here is going to change colour and turn into smoke only where the particles are. Okay, so we're in the box, we're clicking on the, um, the material tab, and instead of being colouring the surface, we're going to colour in the volume. Uh, volume means stuff inside the, the square, inside the cube, right? See how it says density there? That's nice and dense smoke. Yeah, we're actually going to change it to zero. We're thinking, why? I don't want smoke being density to zero so you can see completely through it. We are going to make certain parts of the cube only go dense. And you'll see more about that soon. Density to scale, we'll turn that to 3 because it's a nice little setting. Scattering, 3 as well. Scattering is like how much light passes through my smoke. So I'm making it quite, um, quite dense at the moment because it's going to hit the light, the light's going to hit it and it's not going to go into it. It's going to sit there and stay looking dense. Right, that's all for here for now. Jump across into the texture tool. Okay, see where it says type none? We're changing that through to voxel data. 
Okay, voxel data has now been selected. And there's a few extra to um, settings, buttons, stuff down the bottom we need to change. Smoke, that's all good. Domain object, see how it's blank? You already know the domain object is called cube, because that's the one we're working with right there. There's its name. You might have called it something different, but that's my one there. And we drag it even further down. So where it says influence, we're going to tick that box too. So that's basically saying that wherever the smoke are, it's going to make blitter. Wherever the smoke is, it's going to make it dense. Right. In theory, if I've done everything correct at the moment, it should make smoke when I press Alt A. Okay. Alt A or the, the play button down there at the bottom. Here goes. Have I succeeded? Alt A. Yay! I have smoke being produced by my particles and the other part. Okay. If I've also done it correctly, and I press pause about now, if I press the um, F12 button or render image button, I should in theory see smoke. And yes, I do. It's not very pretty smoke because it's all sort of fuzzy as, but it's smoke all the same. Okay, I'm going to press the escape key to stop that and escape again to get out. I want my smoke to be denser and more thick and smoke like. So I'm going over the physics tab right here and I'm going to go down until it says smoke high resolution because I want high resolution smoke. I need to drag my button back to here, back to zero. Oh, and also inside the high resolution, high resolution smoke, I can change the divisions up and down. Click the box that says show high resolution and I'm going to change that to two. The more you change this up, the longer it takes to make the smoke, but the better it looks. I'm going to press Alt A again to make it make high resolution smoke. And I'm going to pause the video and come back once I've got some nice smoke there on my page. Okay, pausing now. Okay, I left it running for um, around about um, two, three minutes. Whoops, it's gone again. I'll be back in a second. And as you can see, it's made some um, some pretty impressive sort of smoke there. I'm going to um, give it a, a pause. Uh, I think Alt A will, um, will pause that if I did it correctly. Okay. And um, yes. So as I said before, um, I've pressed the pause button. Alt A did actually pause it, but I had to click back on the screen again. And we've got some high resolution smoke there. Right. If I go to my camera view, which is like um, view camera or number pad zero, okay, that shows me where I'm looking right now. I'm going to select my camera. I'm going to press G for grab, check it around so I've got a nice little view of it. And if I press F12 now, it will show me um, a more detailed view of the high resolution smoke. Nice. Now, Here's one thing I used to have trouble with, and that was I wanted some nice little platform underneath, like Shift A, add a, um, a plane, um, drag it on down, um, press S to scale up to make it big, and I would like to have like the smoke make shadows. But what I had to do to do that was make a new material, and then right on the bottom, under the shadow button, there's a little tiny tick sword that are called Receive Transparency. Now if I do that, I should end up seeing um, my lovely smoke, and it should be casting shadows onto the stuff around it. Now, if you didn't do that, unfortunately your smoke does not cast shadows, which doesn't look so pretty. Okay. If you've got the settings you can change, add more or less particles, increase the heat, um, lots of different settings. Anyway, have fun playing with that, and um, yes, good luck.